This video looks at two worked questions and their answers. Mark scheme, a spoken mark scheme for both. So the first question is looking at how we halogenate methane to make bromomethane. So we're halogenating with bromine. So we're going to be looking at the initiation step, including their conditions. Then we're going to give the propagation steps. It's worth two marks. Give an example of a termination step, one mark. And give the overall equation for the reaction. And include state symbols. That would be worth two marks. Okay, pause the video, have a go at the question. Okay, the answer to the first question, 1A, is looking at the initiation step. This is where the free radicals are formed and the covalent bond between the two bromine atoms breaks in a symmetric fashion to make two bromyl radicals, with each with seven electrons, therefore having one unpaired electrons. So this is where the free radicals are produced via the homolytic bond cleavage um, mechanism and the conditions is H mu which stands for irradiating the molecules usually with light in the visible region. We can also use heat or a, another radical as an initiator for that condition. The next question, part of the question, looks at the propagation steps of this reaction. So this is where one of our free radicals that we produced in our initiation step is reacted with the alkane, in this case methane, to make our alkyl radical H3C and our hydrobromic acid. The alkyl radical then goes on to react with a new molecule of bromine and makes our bromomethane and reforms the bromine radical. So the radicals are constantly being reformed in the pair of propagation steps and they behave as catalysts because there's never any more radical at the end than there is at the beginning and they're both created and destroyed in equal measure during this pair of propagation steps. The next part of the question wants you to give a termination step and this is essentially where the radicals are removed from the reaction and two radicals, both highly reactive species, combine to reform that shared pair of electrons between the carbon and bromine nuclei, so reforming our bromomethane in this case. You can also have two bromyl radicals joining together to make Br2, or two alkyl radicals joining together to make ethane. Okay, and that's worth one mark. Check your answer, see if you got all of that. If you're not sure on that concept, then have a quick look, review of the mechanism. Okay. The overall equation for our reaction. Well, to work out the overall equation, we're going to basically cancel out anything that appears on both sides of our arrows. Treat your arrows a bit like equal signs. This means that we can work out that the initiation and termination steps are not going to be included in our overall equation as the molecules all cancel. There's always the same number in our products as there are in our reagents. So we're going to look at just our propagation steps and we'll look at the sum of those. So just like you would in maths, write your equal signs all underneath each other and then for a sum underneath the black line there. Write our reagents and our products of our pair of propagation steps and then cancel any species that are the same on both sides. In free radical substitution reaction, this will always be the radicals that are constantly being reformed. Anything that's left over, you write in your overall equation. So that's going to be our methane and a molecule of bromine going to make hydrobromic acid and bromomethane. They're all in the gas state, as all of these radical chain reactions are gas state reactions. That would be worth two marks. One mark for the state symbols and one mark 
for the reagents and products. Okay, second question for you to have a go at is can you give the propagation steps for the free radical substitution of propane to make 1,1-dichloropropane? Okay, this is a little different from the last question because we've got a di substitution. We're starting with propane, which is just a normal, fully saturated, three carbon long chain, alkane chain. And then we're making 1,1-dichloropropane. So draw out the display formula, check you can work out what that compound is. So two chlorines on the first carbon and all the other single bonds are carbon hydrogen bonds. If you've got a dye substitution, this means you're going to have two pairs of propagation steps. The first pair, you're going to put the first chlorine on the carbon and the second pair you'll put the second chlorine on that carbon. So let's have a look at the answer to this question. So a chlorine radical made in an initiation step reacts with the propane to make hydrochloric acid and the propyl radical. This propyl radical then goes on to react with a new molecule of chlorine to make the chloropropane and chlorine radical. That chloropropane is then the reagent in the next pair of propagation steps. So that chloropropane reacts with another chlorine radical to make hydrochloric acid and the chloropropyl radical. This chloropropyl radical then goes to react with a new molecule of chlorine to make the 1,1-dichloropropane and a chloro radical. Okay, it looks like I've actually drawn 1,1-dichloro um, ethane there. That is meant to be 1,1-dichloropropane. Okay, so our overall reaction is going to be propane plus two molecules of chlorine and a chloropropane gives us two molecules of HCl and 1,1-dichloropropane. So that's CH, Cl2, CH2, CH3. Okay, excellent. That's our overall reaction. And you can see that if you've got two sets of propagation reactions, you're always going to produce two molecules of the hydrochloric acid and you'll have your two halogen molecules plonk, plumped on your carbon there. Excellent. If you've got all those four marks, well done. And look forward to seeing you all in class later.